charges on Dismiss and Devour. There's the Recon Dart going in. The Frenzy actually does work out there for Thief. Took a little bit of extra energy. The heal is going to come through again. That's the beauty of having the Sage in play. There's a wall down. There's two players backside currently. Chemicals wants to go up onto that rope, but would be a bad call as there was one up there. It was Thief Gangsta actually executes Thief. The spike will be planted. And the retake is happening as the spike goes down. Players already on the site. Nice nade coming down onto Chemicals, reducing things down to two. Nature's got the toxic wall going up, but has to be careful. There's a player right around the corner of default box. Doesn't scare Nature at all, who goes for the leaping shot. It's going to come down to the 1v1. It's Gangsta versus a Proto. She helped for the spam to prevent that that spray, uh, the, the plant. So we'll look forward to those sprays later on into the rounds once we have the full gun round coming in. Let's see how long Thief can hold on to this Bulldog. Thief also has the ult available due to the sheer number of kills that Thief was able to convert in the first couple of rounds. Again, you're going to see that wall come through. There's a smoke coming out as well as Thief wants to go. Indiana Jones, no, actually dives over top of the roof. Has to be careful. There's one back site not prepared. Goes inside the wall. Ends up dodging the damage. A wall going up over top Ooh. to allow Stellar into the site. Does result in them gaining access. It'll be chemicals, though, with the crisp shots on the Sheriff to make this one difficult for LG. We've got a three on two. The spike will be planted momentarily, but again, the hardware for IMT is not exactly fantastic. Gangsta's got a sheriff as the dart goes through. And I believe Nature has just a classic. Does actually end up scooping up an SMG, so there's a little bit more firepower here, some extra oomph. As they go and tap the spike, there's the peak coming through. Nice shots coming out from Nature. Shock darts aren't where they need to be, so Nature's able to survive a little while longer. The dink shot down onto Stellar makes this possible here. Coming out from JC Stanny, who's stuck inside this ice, waiting it for it to dissipate. There's the jumping knife toss from Thief, and now they've got Hall's control, and that flattens out the push pretty badly for IMT. Thief is in position, knows there's one around the corner, still has the knives out. It's going to be a knife duel. Who's going to win it? Oh my god. Neither one. <laughs> you got him in the knees, in. though. <laughs> yeah, Chemicals gets hit and decides to bail, and that's the right call. You can see Gangsta's here now alone. It is a one-on-three. It's interesting to see Gangsta still go for this while his teammate is all the way across the map. Yeah, that turned out to be pretty much a Hidden Leaf Naruto battle. Shout out to uh, Team Liquid with the latest drop. Really nice stuff, but in the end, you're still able to save your operator into the next round for chemicals, but that was a very crucial kill for Thief to actually uh, prevent any type of rotations that are, that's going to come through the hall. A lot of height uh, control, some height um, advantage versus their opponents on a retake, and it works out very well. I like this one too, actually. This is, this is a newer one to have an ult on the top of the pipes, which should cover top of pipes and even the bottom of the floor. So that makes a little bit uh, things a little bit more difficult for LG to try to take over this A sign. And as you see it from this overhead view, they have absolutely no visibility here for LG with the exception of two of their teammates that they see their bodies on the ground. I like that play too. Uh, with Lorena on site, getting up over top of that wall. Now nature is taken out and that's gonna be difficult. Moose hitting his stride here, two kills coming in for their Sova. The recon dart's gonna go down and now the ult's gonna get popped. They have to be careful as there's a, a flank coming in from chemicals. You can see those pulses coming out from the ult. It doesn't result in a kill, but they have to worry about chemicals who's now on the flank. It's the worst possible gun to have mm -hmm. on the flank and it might be a kill for Stellar, but chemicals gets the read, spots Stellar out around the corner, sees one more as the smoke comes through. Paranoia is in, but it's off the mark. Chemicals has now found three on the round. It was all up to Moose just in case you do see that lurk come through. Trying to take out the wall, but doesn't do it fast enough. JC Stanny desperately wants to peek to try and stop this spike plant from happening, but surrenders it. In the meantime, Thief finally comes through from sub two, gets dropped by uh, the Reyna for IMT, excuse me, who was up in kitchen. Now, Moose is pretty far away. Looks like Moose is going for a long wrap to try and come back mm. underneath tube. You've got chemicals who's still a nuisance on the site. And now you worry, is Moose's flank going to come through in time? The spike is planted wide for him, but is the wall still down? You hear the shots come through, and at this point, the play is completely isolated. Shot up, picked off a player backside yellow, and JC Stanley will find the final elimination on the round. It'll be IMT now getting two rounds in a row over LG. It is important to have the wall to be immediately broken, and they're just going to try to spray it down. But the shock darts also is going to hit the first kill. The spike has been planted, but Stellar dies in the process.
It's still a 4-4 four four with the Spike Planet. Spray is coming through. The ult's been utilized. That Showstopper, though, not really going to catch much as the retake is underway from IMT. JC Stanny able to move all the way up to yellow, but the ice down oh in that boy. position makes it difficult, but somehow they still managed to make it work. Ooh. Your boy Dre, though, from backside yellow, almost had an opportunity as he found a fourth. Chemicals saves the... For LG, it will be a successful plan, but Thief does have high ground inside the A tower, looking towards the rotation at Boiler. They are also fighting towards the back of the site where a proto is throwing those pain shells, but here is where it gets deadly. Well, maybe two kills that were done before by Gangsta. This time it's only one, but it's good enough for the rest of Immortals to run inside the site, leaving Moose on his own. We talked about how good he was here on this map before and how good he was yesterday. Can he clutch a four versus one? He now makes it a three versus one, has two shark guards, has a recon. One more kill for Hunter's Fury, cannot get it versus Shot Up. And it's going to be the defuse for Immortals to put the fourth on the board. And they for 10 top box are two important spots to try to cover that rotation. Now they're running back into the site. Look at that. We already have one player down to one HP, and he's also going to get melted by nature with that stinger. Now as he falls back, that's still going to have a long timer before that ult actually um, disappears. So he could just dance back and forth within that poison cloud of the Viper's Pit. But this is going to have to be the big flank from A-Proto, but it does not convert onto JC Sani, who saw that coming from a mile away, and now they are just not getting any ground. You're talking about how they're having so much success here on the A-side here, Bok, but that's twice where they're just going to eager, uh, eagerly walk into the Viper's Pit and die to it, or find any battles. A Viper change might be influential, and it was, when we would see that Viper Pit on the A site, it was very difficult for LG to deal with, which resulted in some rounds for IMT here in the pistol round. They're going to go to the A site as well. The Tailwind doesn't result in an escape for chemicals, but it's okay as support arrives in time. So the spike will be planted. That nade could be right on the money, but not quick enough. The Sage able to escape as JC Stanny runs away and gets the heal in as well. It will be a 3 on 2. We'll see again that Viper utility showing its value as that Venom is going to go on the ground, slowing down the possibility for a defuse inside the smoke. You've got one. A second target is there as well. It's down to a one-on-one. -on -one. No heal here for Stellar. Both players very low. Gangsta seems to know there's one up top. It's all about timing. Spots one as he goes towards the ropes. It's all about positioning and timing right now. He's going to try and fly oh his God. way out, but Gangsta's first map just due to how these two teams play. And it's always going to be that wall moving forward that allows for you to move into the site. They probably have a cloud burst that they want to throw into the top of the tower, but it's too late. Nature already falls from the hands of your boy Dre. Shock darts to push him off of his location, but we already have a rotation from the rest of LG in the back of B sign. Stellar with the Marshall. He's still on that old patch, so it's not going to have that, uh, that new update that they have for that rifle, but it's still going to be from Snowman trying to pop him down. The spike has been planted. Three players moving forward. That is going to be a proto in the face of JC Stani, but shot up, shuts up too. Now inside that smoke, he goes for the hat trick. Last one to go is going to be Stellar falling down with that more at this point. And we talked about how good they are in the attack. Well, that's three rounds in a row already, and that is the lead. Now we have the spike being planted towards the A side, and LG attempts to go for the retake. You hear a lot of knives coming out, but not much landing. So the Blade Storm not really producing the success one would hope for. Nature with a quick shot coming out though onto the counterpart jet. And that Leer works out quite nicely. There's going to be a res even coming in as a Proto tries oh, to get into a better position. LG is getting flattened on this attempted retake. All five players survive after the res comes through. LG at the same time, and he's trying to slow it down. Pain shells that rains towards the air. He does get the wall bang headshot onto JC Stani, but the spike has just been planted. He does have a showstopper, though. They don't have that much to work with. We saw a stinger before from your boy Dre. We do see another stinger now in the hands of Stellar, and only a sheriff and a showstopper is going to have to be a big kill coming in and here it comes and it does land onto nature but he falls at the same time so it evens up the tally on a three versus three immortals pushing forward on top of that the right clicks of the blade storm misses this trades on the back from moose's flank now to a one versus one chemicals is trying to fight this battle as the wall is up and he goes for the jumping classic from Moose, but Chemical is so hard for LG to hold this right now, even if they have some great crossfire setups. They need a little bit more. I think the utilities right now from Rays could help a little bit, but at this point, it's going to be your boy Dre at least getting the first kill, the first blood into this round, breaks the wall, and is going to try to bring things up as the res comes out, and he cannot get the... Oh, actually, he does! He does get two before he dies, and that is good enough for LG on the attempt of a retake on a four versus two.
There's a wall coming in as well, but the section's broken down on top of the spike, but the retake comes through. It looked pretty good there for IMT. Now, they lose one player on the push, but when the plant comes in, that gives enough points to their Sage to get in this round, already has two HP. Spike planted. Another plant coming in for IMT. You mentioned it. Chemicals low on HP. There's the ult pop from Shot Up. That'll make that fire rate go through the roof. As Moose tries to use the drone to spot out players, that Shot Up actually taking one to the dome from Stellar from distance. Your boy Dre again with a heroic performance here on the B site. That's now two kills for your boy Dre. They know that Chemicals is still going to be moving into position from mid, and it's all up to Gangsta. Gangsta somehow steps up and finds two before being isolated into a proto. There's the Leer coming in to try and make it a little bit more difficult for Thief in this position. Sees one trying to go up. Here's that jet fly in. Goes to the knives, but no, misses the right click. And now that puts a lot of pressure on the remaining players on site. Moose has to pop off and go big. Does drop the spike carrier, and you've still got players coming in here. It's all down to Gangsta, who's up in top tube. It's down to the 1v1, trying to spot that headshot angle. Has to fall down. Only has three bullets remaining, and ultimately <laughs> will lose the one-on-one -on -one against the side, which is why now at 11 to 11, this might be the round they're going to do it. And there you go. There you go. That Viper pick yeah. comes out. It's going to have a gap here towards that right side. You're going to have them play towards the back of the site, too, uh, at the green uh, hallway, in the green, or the green lanes, rather. And we'll see now if LG could retake the site. The way that this works with it coming up on the other side of yellow makes it really difficult for them to deal with nature's position. There's a res coming through. Hunter's Fury being popped from the other side. Good damage being dealt. Looking for that third pulse. Not able to get it. You've got Thief currently on the lurk. Oh, Very no. close, but no! Gangsta somehow wins the, the one on one. You've got Nature playing outside that Viper's Pit. They finally take down the Viper inside of it, so that smoke's going to fall. And now it comes down to this. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Your boy no Dre playing on the other side has to swipe the rifle out. But again, like you said, no time. Gangsta's even going to die to the spike. Sure, IMT find round number 12. For LG, although we do have a res available for a pulse plant for Immortals. So the odds are in their favor. Can they actually hold it down for Immortals to win this first map? Let's find out here, Bok. That was a big kill as well. Finally, the ult, no, the flank doesn't work out. I thought the flank was gonna come through. So you have the ult, you have the res available, but they lost Empress in the process. Gangsta dropping off the bins, able to find two kills on the round two. as they continue to come through on the flank. They weren't prepared for it. The second player, like you mentioned, <laughs> we are going to overtime as LG managed to keep themselves in the game despite the impressive- Even things up now, their turn on the defender side. Thief tried to float on the pipes, but saw the people coming, heard again. the footsteps as well. They're going to try to take out this wall. They get there just in time to take oh. down the spike. Thief escapes and doesn't have to worry about the Reyna, who is waiting around the corner. Now, Shot Up does eventually get three on the round My because God. of course he does. But it's down to one. It's Nature. The Venom goes down on the ground to try to make it harder. Nature spotted out. They're going to go for the double peak. Double overtime incoming. This is where it get that kill and change positions and actually just get out of dodge. He'll surrender sight control. Oh, the wall comes left. through. I thought he was trying to send it a different direction, but he actually walled off his teammates. Yeah, it's a mistake for sure. You want it to wall towards that screen. You're making it tough yeah. for yourself because now you have to cross out in the open. But thankfully, he makes it through. He gets the plan. He's out in the open and still wins the fight versus JC Stani. So that's healer down. Chemicals with the operator. Lands a second one onto Moose, but he's traded out by Stellar. The one that makes the mistake now protects himself from his mistakes and redeems himself from his mistakes for those two kills. But it's still your boy Dre on his own and Gangsta stops him and Immortals gets another round on defense and another map point. So we have a proto, the first one trying to move in, looking for an angle, might just spot one here. As the shock dart comes through, it actually hits the wall and they can hide behind that for safety. <laughs> a proto stepping up big with Moose. The retake is working out like oh gangbusters. They've got it down to now one and the wall is in. There is nothing that this time obviously struggling. Heavy presence towards B long right now. No flank coming in this time. Everyone coming in through mid and from Snowman. Can IMT hold? Will we continue here in overtime? This is just the first map of the series. A proto will spot out shot up. 
as they tap the spike to try and bait out the remaining positions of these players. You've got your boy Dre playing oh, on man. the other side of this wall that's down. This wall is huge. They have to break through it. They're trying to get there to stop this defuse from happening. They've already got it to halfway, and they're able to come through in oh, time. My God. But it comes down to one remaining player. It's Stellar. It will be LG taking map one. As that breach, it's going to be able to set up chemicals for that flash and dash into the site. Clearing wine, clearing the site. Now Pulse Plant, but LG still gets the first blood on this second map. So Gangster falls, and Thief is already on the flank. He's trying to get this kill, but it's traded off by chemicals. Still out of bullets, reloading on time for the second kill on Moose. More action. A Proto gets a 3k on his own, and now it's shot up in the back. Changing into the agent, good enough for a kill, but that is going to be it. Your boy Dre comes in for the defuse, and LG puts the point on the scoreboard. Which is shot up, they might fight for it, they might pick it up, or it just might be an explosion, knowing that they have the opportunity here with the weaponry. So shot up gets another entry, he does load up the uh, rolling thunder, but he gets picked off in the process. And meanwhile, the last two guys are still rotating from B main, uh, or sorry, from, from mid side and from defender spawn, and it's going to be a 3 versus 2 ver uh, for Immortals. So LG didn't actually go for that force that we typically see. They decided to spend yeah. a little bit less, which is somewhat surprising, but it's not entirely terrible for them right now. The ADS Spectre will net something for the side of IMT as it's now down to the last target. It's Thief who's hiding inside a dark cover, waiting for an opportunity to send a bullet to the dome of one of these players. There is a pistol in his hands and two targets Right to his left. Did they clear this corner? No. So actually able to get one, two, three. <laughs> Thief punishing with the kills. The round is lost, but that is an expensive one. Goes back to pick up the stinger and, <laughs> you know, drops a couple of dimes on a dead body. First towards heaven side, and that's going to calm things up. No, check that out. It's actually Thief running through the smoke, gets the kill and dismisses away. Tries to go in for a second one, but it's traded off. Now we're just going trade after trade. It's out towards the heaven side. Just to sum it up, it's a one minute advantage for LG on the retake. The spike has not been planted, yet the spike has been dropped. Now your boy Dre also drops into the site, spots the last opponent to make it a two versus one as Nature capitalizes on that kill. One on to the heaven side. One at the dice. The crossfire is set up as nature is dancing around the generator. He goes for the peak. He does not get the kill onto Moose. And paranoia coming out from market. And that's going to be chemicals going out over <laughs> top. And they're like, yeah, that's cute and all, but we've seen that before. Yep. So this round just falls apart for I. Guy here towards this A main, but they're not going to be able to capitalize on it yet because a nice paranoia came out. Again, LG trying to stop an A-side push, but they've suffered severe casualties. The blast pack right into the face of shot up. We'll push him back a bit, but it doesn't do the damage necessary. Shock darts coming in around the corner, and that's actually shot up delivering yet again. Now the owl drone will give away the position, but it's a stun coming in onto Moose. That makes it impossible. It starts to come through. The position is aggressive coming in from shot up. He's very oh, close. Man. He does go for the rolling thunder, and it does work out. It's a risky play. Very ballsy with the placement. These guys are sitting in these servers day in and day out to be able to cancel these ults. So that also cancels oh. the push from the portals into the B side, where they're running into Thief holding towards the B link, and that's a triple kill for him. I thought Thief might have even been able to get more out of that. The Boombot goes around the corner. They know that Nature's here. A reload comes through, tries to get time in for the bat that gets dropped by chemicals rushing into the site. So now with only one player alive, waiting for his teammates to come across, that's Moose. They're all up and uh, cuddled up here towards his defender spawn side as the spike gets planted towards an open B site, and a retake attempt is coming out. There's the ult being popped, the rocket. Oh. No, somehow, he came back out around the corner. So the rocket actually does damage to the target that was on sidewalk. An unintentional kill, but it works out quite nicely. Somehow that rocket works, and it makes things a little bit more palatable. Still, though, it's I am just going to be an ultimate killjoy into oh, the no. B entrance. And this time, the shark arts do not connect because he places it at a, di at a different position. That allows now Nature to come in and get the kill onto your boy Dre. Nano Swarm towards that front. Oh, he bounces off the wall, so it misses. Paranoia, but at least as the Swarm grenade comes out, it doesn't allow the defenders of LG to push through that spawn site. So that's time wasted, courtesy of Nature and the plant coming in for Immortals. Immortals. Now with just one target, steady defense, five for their opposition, though. So it was a little bit different. They had the advantage. 
And now it's IMT who's oh. in that position. Nice flash coming out from Shot Up to open things up. A follow up as well. Those breach flashes so incredibly strong, but not strong enough. As LG now has control of the site, but you haven't gotten out across and they haven't gotten the spike planted yet. And the thing is, he's like, he's setting himself up with these flashes and he's still able to get the kill. So that was one to fall early into the round. That was Thief. As now, uh, we're, or sorry, your boy Dre, as we're moving back into the site for Immortals. Couple of ghosts, actually, from Gangsta that's able to drop two. But it's still going to be Immortals on the retake that's going to be a little bit stronger. You see the change of pace of how they both attacked on that A site for both. Easy. We'll see the turret come down from nature on the other side of the door. It's creative placement that gets it out in front of the door to at least help slow down and change positions here. Thief is going to get one through a dark cover. Compliments of a recon dart that gave away the position, and now Thief just wants to go for the peak on this. Nice cloud burst to at least give them an opportunity to dive into the site. Just punish. But it doesn't work out that way, and in the end, they've still got control, so it's okay. The five on three, there's two targets trying to work up Cat, two targets playing defense in that territory. Nice shots coming in from your boy Dre with the Bulldog. You can hear the double tap to the skull of JC Stani. And they're trying to move into position here. The reload comes through at the worst. Certainly, it looks like they're setting up for an explode trap with chemicals on high. They've got double flash capability. The knives come out, but the leer is what's going to force chemicals out of position. The flashpoint from Shotup combined with the paranoia does at least produce some results here for INT. And Shotup's getting ready to drop that aftershock down as well to try and keep them away. Now the spike is gonna get scooped up. Oh, look at the setup. There's the flash coming through. That's gonna blind the Cypher. JC Stani can't quite escape into the smoke. So again, scrappy early round place. His teammate is just around the corner on the sidewalk. So they have a perfect crossfire for any type of double peek that they wanna do towards this side. And Thief is, he says, I don't need your help. I got this. one. So not shocked or surprised at all to see that be the case here. And it nets early success for Chemicals, who hits a great shot onto the first target. The Leer is going to push him back, but they can't get to the switch to try and shut that door. So he's still a looming threat, and that is going to show itself right there. Great shots coming out. Spots one going down the stairs, even though he misses. The close target, oh, he's going to get that one too. Damage on the Hunter's Fury isn't as on point as one would have expected. They've also got this player kind of stitched into the corner inside the switch house. And despite everything, Immortals is holding on quite well here. It's down the Thief, who's got the old pop of the heels coming through. Dismissed to get across. Oh, I love it. But with 13 seconds left, really has to make up ground here. Knows there's one more on the site. Spots them out as well. Running out of time. Has to take the battle. Has to reload. It's not. But it will be a four-on-four -four retake. Now, they do have lockdown. Depending on where they decide to put this, there's opportunity here, especially with moves out. Because they won't have those shock darts to help take it out of play. There's a nice flash coming in from Shotup. He's been doing it all game, but he will drop early and it's down to a two on two yet again. And one of those players is on a long flank coming through from spawn. Nice blast pack to get your boy Dre out of that position. They know where this spike is and it's planted open for your boy Dre. He's just jumping currently, clearing out that target and it's actually a brilliant. But now they have to worry about this. The Killjoy ult lockdown coming through. They're going to rely on Moose. Does he have the lineups? Because I have a feeling we're going to see everything thrown. You can see the lockdown being dropped on lamps. You've also got the Rolling Thunder coming through. And they already used the Shock Darts Heaven. One HP remaining for that target in Heaven. Oh my god. The lockdown is canceled and it's just chaos on the site as the retake is trying to come through. But they're getting aggressive. Shot up with what one HP. HP. Still manages to get at least one kill coming through from Tree Room. But look how much time has expired. Look how much they used on this as well. The I even think the Rolling Thunder hit a couple of guys. But it came down to that lurk that you had from a proto on that tree side. Not checking. There's the recon dart. They're not going to see his position. Oh, the flash, Huge. the leer. So perfect. So flawlessly executed onto the site for LG. They're still trying to gain site control. But they've managed to make it out. And they've got everything they need set up in the post plant. Shock darts slowing down the push coming in from heaven. JC Stani now pushed forward while shot ups pushed back as the day land between them, splitting them like the Red Sea.
They're going to try and get back into this site off the back of this aftershock, and there's a nice fat paranoia coming through as well. You've still got players in hell, but the player hell falls, and like that, it comes down to now one. It's all up to Moose. Moose has to save the day. Recon Dart's going to give away the position. They're going to start tapping on the spike. Moose has to win this oh battle, God. and no! Keep on chiseling away at that ice. And they do eventually form a gap, but it's too late as the spike's already been planted. So it's five on five retake territory. So many flashes coming out between the flashpoint and the paranoia. Your boy Dre and Stellar both combining. It's a bloodbath on the site, and it comes down to the last target shot up. Who goes for the leap? And a proto catches shot up as the jump flat. At the time, was they weren't facing off against a sage. So now the sage wall comes through and makes it a little bit more difficult and tricky for them. There's great shots coming in from Thief, spotting out the first player exiting the showers. Good move to get away from the cubby or the pocket as the lightning bolts coming through the shock darts from their Sova. Recon dart will give away the first player's position. He's going to have to move, and as he shifts, he gets called out. And it's down now again to a one-on-two this time, actually, as it's going to be a proto. He's got to be careful. The rocket doesn't get fired, but it's okay. Gangsta's there and he hits him with the kneecap shots from the stinger. You Are we finally into like a normal, normalized first half? And as I'm talking about normalized, it's the first time that Chemicals actually rushes out of the hookah side, not making things normal at all from the first half, how things have panned out on this hookah control. But it's traded out right away. It's a four versus four. No information after that. We're trying to take showers. It's a big paranoia that allows Massive. nature to get two kills. Cage triggered. And that's very well done here for Immortals as they look back towards the EPC and nature is just on a run. A self boost on the wall. The wall has been broken at the same time. Stellar trades back onto JC Stani, but knows that nature is just around the corner. He's by himself and nature gets the quad kill for the round. Nature and chemicals now going into the showers and getting pink shell kills towards the shower side. There's the ult being used, the showstopper. No, doesn't fire it inside the can there is a player that was inside bin but they've been taken care of there's a counter ult coming oh my God. out but the rocket doesn't produce the success great shots coming out from both sides and you've got the ult ready the res is going to come through there's rolling thunder in exchange for imt and oh man this is going to be awkward rolling thunder on the back side of sight there's the aftershock coming through as well there's still one more back side oh sight gosh. it's shot up with four shot up all going up this one cuts across that means that it's going to be a default and u-haul push that has to come through to retake the site you've already got nature on site as well knows there's potentially one around the corner but is slowly and methodically clearing things out inside u-haul and that's what you want to see if you're LG, finding that first kill. Because that player was in position, poised to make this threat more viable for Immortals. The shots from Chemicals haven't been where they needed to be, and now they're going to hear the rotate out as well. The Blast Pack will allow Chemicals to escape relatively unharmed. Recon Dart goes through, doesn't give away the position. That's going to be a false sense of security here for Moose. It doesn't go deep enough around the corner, and now he's going to peek with a knife out. It's a nice shot from Chemicals as well, straight to the dome. Had to get into that. Ultimately, does die to Stellar, who comes through. But a quick flick from Chemicals after coming through the dark cover. The last remaining player on site is your boy, Dre. Hold on. This round is not over. Most importantly, has the spike and the ult available. Goes in the showers, which could have been a little bit sketchy, given that the last remaining player was actually in showers. Decides to deady on that as well. So you're going to see the portal potentially utilized. But no. The last remaining player can't give away that audible tell, has to run all the way around. Your boy Dre is going to gain significant clock, but the position is played currently towards spawn. He might not anticipate this play coming through from Hookah. It's all about timing. How long will your boy Dre watch that before thinking it's going to come from another direction? Revealing <laughs> But unfortunately, not to be the case. And this is why I brought that up. His success rate on Hunter's Fury is so insanely high, especially across this series. I would love to see just how many total kills he has this series with that ult and how big the impact is isn't even measured in that. Because some of those kills were doubles that gave them a two-player advantage or even brought it down to even strength. Gangsta on site does ultimately die in the end. 
So that player we were praising for the ult utilization can't do much with the rifle in the one-to-one -one exchange, but it's still a three-on-three -three because of some of the work that he did early in the round. Well, now with the attempt coming back here for Immortals, they have one player that's low on HP. That's a big paranoia. Stellar is going to get caught from that. And now shot up, probably still has another flash and an aftershock. So to gain control of this site, your boy Dre's in a do or die spot. A big paranoia too, at the same time, lines them both up. But yeah, sorry, I was uh, I was muted on Discord, but we're good here on the stream. So definitely I was saying that the LG definitely showing that they're stringing a lot of rounds here. Still showing a lot of fight and grit into this round, but as they're trying to show Stopper into the site, uh, tallied with a paranoia that is thrown there from LG, your boy Dre, we still had chemicals that was still able to land an operator shot on to Thief that also cancels out the showstopper. Now they gain a lot of map control. They don't they don't lose any damage at all. And this is just gonna make things harder here for LG to take the site. Well, it seems all too fitting that the scoreline would be 6-6 six, six at the end of this first half. Moose is trying to show that that's not going to be the case, that he's got a little bit more fight left in him. He's brought it down to 4, and he's trying to hit shots right now, but with 43 HP, it's only a matter of time. Ends up dying to his doppelganger, rolling thunder flying, recon dart into position. Will give away the position of Stellar, who's now in hot water on the site. Desperately needs help. Good dink shots coming down, but no kills coming out as of yet. Immortals crushes that B-side defense that was set up for LG. Damn. They are now in a five-on-one, an incredibly strong take from IMT to kick off this second half. That's strong. The flashes, the pushes in, the frenzies, of course, leaving Thief on a five versus one. Yeah, there's two players that are low on HP, but he won't be able to do much. Going ahead and sticking that spike for Immortals. We've talked about how scrappy and hard fought these second rounds can often be. This paranoia could be big with the buildup currently in spawn. It doesn't hit the target to the left, and they know that JC Stani is here inside tube. They're trying to get back out onto the site, but Immortals, again, is stomping out the retake potential, but your boy Dre pops off with the stinger, almost makes it possible before who... As well. Tripwire destroyed. Hey, Proto, goes for the swing, but again, Immortals winning those duels on the site. There's ults coming out. It's dueling Hunter's Furies trying to stop the spike, and of course, you've got Gangsta swinging for the fences with another ult kill on Hunter's Fury. That would make number 50, by the way, <laughs> for Gangsta across his career. The retake is underway, but it's also underwhelming. It's only two players, so they don't exactly have everything they need to try to get in. A strong camp placement, but your boy Dre actually sneaks inside that smoke so that the dart doesn't give away the position, and he knows it came from showers. The ping is on the spike, so you might see the swing here and the spray down. It'll be a double for JC Stani. Immortals continue to keep Execution style takes down a proto with a shot to the dome. Again, Immortals looking really good on the take as they've got a two-player advantage. Your boy Dre doesn't stand a chance. Everything falling apart here. It's all up to Moose, who was heroic at times against 100 Thieves, but not going to be good enough to... And it probably will still be high. It's pretty insane. Yeah. But yes, that's it. So here we go. The take towards the B site. Moose trying to shut it down from backside, but with only a stinger, he's hamstrung. And it's down now to one. It's been reduced to only the Cypher, who's coming through from spawn, and his position's been given away as Nature throws his hat off and may as well be throwing it onto the coat rack to retire <laughs> from the day as a proto is alone. It's a 1v3. It's going to be so incredibly difficult. We've seen him pull out insane clutches, specifically on this B site with a sheriff, no less. This time he's going to have to do it with a rifle, and they just peek.